Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to a kick to the head. It's Michael here. We're back on the old family farm. Yay. Once again, we're back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. God. Maniac. Try to kill me. What the hell? You guys see that? Wow. Okay. Let's quickly take a look at what we got here. As you can see, if I can get back to... Here we go. Um, the great demand for barley starts in two hours. It is now almost 8 o'clock, so it's actually about an hour and 15 minutes. And if you look at the map here, you can see our main fields are done. You can see I finished these fields off camera, got them done. And number 9 is now up off of auction, so we can go pick that up now. Uh, not again, are you kidding me? You maniac. I didn't see a driver in there. That's scary. So let's run over real fast and pick up that number nine field. We got a little bit. We got a little extra money. Got about $2,000 from the milk on that one. And it is farm two we want. There we go. And we'll pick this up now. $450. We'll buy that. So, goal number one is complete, everybody. We own all the fields now. Yes. Goal number one complete. Goal number two and three, however, will be a little more difficult. Of course, goal number two, if you remember, is to pay off our debt. And it is, I believe, 110000 Yes, it is. 110000 Um. And our third goal was to have a million dollars banked after paying off of our, our, our loan. So we have two lofty goals ahead of us still. Um, let's quickly jump back over to farm number one. So without further ado, let's get this, this party started, shall we? Uh, we want to get all the barley done first of all so we can get that banked in two hours. Um, what I need to do is get out of here. There we go. And we can shut uh, this off as well. And we'll get this big beast started. And we'll lift up the front piece there. Don't know if it's lifted up or not. Nope, there we go. And away we go. So we'll go get the barley now. Like I said, I've got the rest of the fields uh, seeded. I did that off camera as well as advanced time just to get these fields ready for harvesting. And they did finish right before um, the great demand came in. So it actually worked out great for us. And if I remember right, this, yep, this is barley and those two fields are barley and only the one small wheat field. So let's get the barley going, like I said. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this one slightly different than I normally do. I'm going to go in the, the circle pattern and I'm going to let Philip take care of that for us. And what I'm going to do is get him started right here. Let me just zoom out a little bit so you can see. And back up into here. Now we'll turn on the old auto combine and we have to open up our HUD again that we can get rid of so we want auto on we want to go to the left like it is we want to go circle and let's get them started so we'll shut K back off and as you can see he'll start now and then we can drive along beside him in the truck and no matter where he stops he'll the pipe will be out over the edge and we don't have to worry about running over any crops or ruining any crops so while he's doing that, let's actually jump to here. We'll move this down to the fields and get it ready for straw collection. And then we'll move the truck and trailers down as well. And what I think we'll do is, uh, I mean, it really doesn't make much sense to move them both down there because I can only drive one at a time anyway. So I'll probably just move the one down. And it'd be, it should be fine that way. You know, why he's still going, let's quickly top up some fuel on this. Don't want to run out. Like I said, we are almost to 
Great Demand Day. And that's the day we've been eagerly awaiting for. I know I have. I'm looking forward to the amount of money that we potentially should get from the sale. As we do have quite a bit of barley both saved and that we're about to harvest. So where is he at? Philip is right there. Philip, is he stopped already? Really? Is he full already? He is full already. Holy cow. We're getting a good harvest off of there then. We're getting its maximum yield it looks like. Okay, let's quickly go to a truck. And we'll move this on out. Let's quickly turn on the mirrors. Make sure we're not hitting that other trailer. Looking good. And we'll just come out over here. Get his seed loaded up. Uh, actually, that kind of sounded pretty pretty nasty. We'll offload the uh, grain that he has. That's actually a better terminology to use, I think. So we'll offload the grain. And as long as we don't hit, we're good. There we go. So we'll let that offload. We'll go ahead and jump over here. Yeah, look how nice and thick and tall that is. We're getting good, uh, good yield on it. Okay, let's run over here. Grab on the forge wagon here. And we'll back this into place. And there we go. Turn it on and away we go. Now we'll see how well we do with in cab. Uh, remember, this is the one that gives me motion sickness for some reason. I don't know why it is, but it does give me motion sickness. So I, I think it's because the camera is so... I don't know. I think it feels like I'm sitting right in, into the windscreen. I think that's possibly the reason why. And... Wow, he is already almost full again. That's unbelievable. Just going from there to there. We're getting some serious yield out of there, I guess. Well, we're going to have to stay right on top of him. <laughs> no, excuse me. Now, it's it's almost midnight here in Germany on Friday night. It's 11.40. Um, I'm actually staying up to try to try to get my body into the rhythm for night shift I start night shift tomorrow so to make it so my first night the first night's always horrendous anyway because your your body is not ready for the system especially when you only have one day off now yesterday I worked today I have off and tomorrow I go right into night shift so it, it's it's very hard on me anyway uh, and now that I'm a little older than 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 your average youtuber I would say um, or your average gamer it's it's a little more difficult on me I'm not gonna lie um, but it, it's something I have to put up with um, if you want to earn the big money as they say and so that's what I do yeah it's much better for me to stay out of the cab on this little thing I don't know why it is but it just gets me sick if I don't so while he's going through there, let's quickly see if we missed any stuff back here in the back corner. And he's going to be full again soon, man. It is filling up. So we must got, we must got the maximum yield this thing can, this this field can harvest. We must have done the, the fertilizing and the seeding and everything in the right order and got good crop coverage, good uh, field coverage. So it's looking good. So I'm, I'm glad to see that you guys are in you gals. I, I know there's a, a, a low percentage of women that do watch my, my shows, my episodes. Um, I, I'm glad to see that a lot of you are still enjoying them, at least the ones of you that are commenting. And again, I appreciate all the comments, uh, good and bad. Um, it does help me grow as a, as a, a creator and as a gamer. 
Um, I learn stuff from everyone every day. And I appreciate that. And he is full. Can you believe that? Unbelievable. So, you, some of you Eagle Eye viewers may notice that uh, I no longer have the manual ignition on. I, I've taken that out. Um, for simple fact that if I tab between, it's, sometimes it takes a while for the vehicle to start up when you press the Z key and everything. Um, the only downside is if you leave the hired hand on there, um, it doesn't always shut off. Um, like if you're riding along earlier when I was letting the time go by, I, I went up and made a sandwich and I left it on. I was just riding along the tractor. And when I came back, the field was done and the tractor was sitting there idling still and I had 2% of fuel left. So I almost ran out of fuel out on the field. So that's the only downside. Had it been the manual ignition, the when the hired hand stopped working, it would shut off automatically. So let's come back over to here. Turn that on, and away we go. So my... The goal is to make this episode last to the great demand and start selling the barley that we do have. Um, I think that should be feasible in the time frame that we normally give, her, give ourselves, 30 to 40 minutes. God, he's 75% full already. This is insane. Insane. And he's full. And so is this. So what I'm going to have to do is I'll drop this off to the silo, then go offload him, let him get started again. Whoa, you see that? I jumped right out of that. And pull up beside the hopper here. And it's all missing. How about that? Okay, so going in. So far, I haven't seen any, any bad weather. All the weather's still good. Although we are supposed to... It says we're supposed to get snow or hail today, it looks like. Oh, that's day plus four. We need to go through. Since I put this new PDS mod in, it's really got me mixed up. Okay, that's the map. There we go. Ah, uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to have to take that out. I got it for the uh, Ian Robson recommended a a map um to uh, for me called the the newbie farm i believe it was called um and part of that map the recommended mod was the mod was for the pda so you could see all the different grains and stuff in theory it's nice but the keys are actually all backwards because you have to hit i then you use your nine key to progress to other levels and it's very very uh odd so leave that there now if we go back there we go uh, yeah it's very very weird okay the pigs we're up to 27 of them Wow, up to 5,000 manure in, in the pens. We're going to have to clean that out for sure. Uh, we're getting a slurry built up. So, you know what we'll do? Let's try driving alongside him for a little bit. We'll wait for him to make the other turn down here, though. And get this completed. Now, what time is it? 8.30, so we got about another, another hour and a half 
and the great demand should be in and we'll be in good shape I think and then I think I'm gonna have to definitely call it a night after this episode I've been at it since uh, well since about five o'clock this morning I've been at it so almost 24 hours about 20 hours 19 20 hours now I've been up and at it um, I pushed out a a minecraft video today um, vanilla overhaul and I had to go check on getting a bed and then I spent some time with my daughter so it's been a very very busy eventful day and I'm my bed is actually eagerly calling me and I'm looking forward to it I'm just trying to stay up as late as I can though so I can get my body like I said into the night rhythm mode and we should be good then now like I said I apologize in advance for any lack of videos in the coming week um, as I said night shift does play pretty pretty much havoc on my on my system and my body um, I sleep more while I'm on night shift than I do any other time normally I sleep between three to five hours a night but for some reason when I am on night shift I get home around 6 30 quarter to 7 about 7 o'clock I would say um, by the time I get in get undressed relax a little bit I probably go to sleep about 7 30 unless I have to take my daughter to school to kindergarten uh, then I'll usually get to sleep about 8.30. And um, then I'll sleep until roughly between 11 and 12 in the afternoon. I'll get up for two, two, three hours, eat lunch and stuff like that. Uh, check my emails and, and the YouTube comments and stuff. And then I will go back to sleep until around 8 o'clock. 8.30, get up, get dressed, and leave the house by 9 p.m. And get to work, start my shift at 10 p.m. and work till 6.30 a.m. So, in the next coming week, great demand for bay hay feed for barley. Ah, barley has just now started. It lasts for another 24 hours. Okay, let's take a look, see how much our barley is going for. Wow, look at that, folks. 1,430 a liter. This is going to be a killing. It's actually down. We might want to wait. Let's wait a little bit till the next hour, and hopefully that will go up. Because right now it's on a decline. So if we sell now, it will just drop down even more. So let's wait a little bit on that. And hopefully that will increase in the next hour. So let's auto hide the HUD. We don't need that. Let's uh, help if I can see the keys and hit the right button. Let's get rid of this. And we'll fill that up. Let's run up here. We'll collect some more of the straw. Try to get that caught up. Turn it on, and away we go. So yeah, if we can get it around 1,500 a liter, we should be in a good position to make a nice, nice, tidy profit on the barley. And that should put us in a great position to finally get some of the equipment that we really desperately need, um, like the mixing wagon, a, a nicer front end loader, uh, with bigger bucket and attachments and stuff like that as well as uh, a, a different manure spreader most likely and definitely some more more cows we definitely want the cows because that's what's going to give us our extra income is the milk and we can also benefit from the slurry and the manure as well so he is almost done again so I'll stop this down by the other truck down here. This is about to be full as well. And any second now, there it is. So jump out, jump into here. And I'm 
desperately eager waiting to start selling the this barley to see how well we actually get see and now he's made the turn and he'll fill up and we can just sneak up right beside him here <laughs> don't hit the trailer or the the spindle okay Yeah, I'm hoping, like I said, I'm hoping that uh, when it reaches 10 o'clock, I'm really hoping that the price will jump up a little higher and not actually drop lower. That would actually stink if it would drop lower on us. Okay, we'll let him make that turn. Let's go drop this off. Now, I think we want to, I think we're going to save this. I don't think we want to sell this quite yet. Um, because we're about to get a lot more cows, so we're probably going to need some of this straw. I mean, we're not going to need as much as that we have, but it's best to have extra because we need to go. I mean, we need it for the pigs as well as the cows. So, I think I'll save a couple, at least a couple of the fields, and then the rest of it we'll go ahead and sell over at Earl's place. I'll back this in there and he should be almost full again yeah just just about throw this in now, let's see how's this doing how do I do this now okay so today is 15 tomorrow next day sunny Okay, I see how this is working now. Okay, so Bay Hay and Feed 719, 738, 706, 1087 for canola. And then if we go 9 again. That can't be right for pigs. $201,482 a pig. That don't seem right. Or maybe that was actually what we... Do I go back to that? Maybe that's what we have in stores? Uh, it won't let me get back to it. How did I do that? Oh well, I'll figure it out. Yeah, I think I'm going to drop that uh, PDA mod out of there. I really don't like that. It's very confusing. I'll need to play with it some more before I introduce it back into an actual Let's Play series. Because I definitely don't like it. Especially it makes me look like an idiot if I don't know, know how to, to actually progress the different menus and fields. Because it's not your standard PDA. So let's get this scrap picked up. Looking at our time, I see we're 25 minutes in. So we're doing good on time. We should be able to last until we can sell. So we should be good. Just picking up this little scraps. Doing good here. Okay, let's take a look. He's 35% full. Might as well say he's 45. Yeah. We'll zip around him. No, you can't offload. Sorry. Okay, got that. Let's make a quick turn. Will we make it in time? Woo! We almost got skewered, folks. Almost got skewered. Playing chicken with the... That's probably, what, about a 10-ton harvester? It's not very smart. Uh, I need a drink. My throat's parched. Oh, missed the spot. Got the monster green energy beast here. Ah, delish. 
And that's probably why I only three, sleep three or four hours a night. I always fill up on energy drinks all day long. Now, it's always been like that since I was a little kid. Since I was about probably about the age of 9, 10, I never slept very much, three, four hours a night. And what's strange is my daughter, my youngest daughter, she'll be six in November. And that's little little uh, Princess Apple Juice Box is what she likes to be called. Uh, Princess Juice Box, Apple Juice Box, or something like that. Strawberry, uh, strawberry Juice Box. I don't know. I have to check out with her again. But uh, she's never, ever slept through the night. I mean... I mean, sleep through the night, yes, but she'll go to bed. I think her her average sleep sleep cycle is she'll go to bed around 11, 10, between 10 and 11 at night. And she's 5 and 6, mind you. She'll go to bed about 10 or 11 at night, and then she'll be up by 4, 4 or 5 o'clock. The kid is unbelievable. She's just like me, doesn't sleep very much, and he is full again. So let's just pull him out of the way over to here. Tab over to the truck. And this thing is full as well. We're not going to get much in there. So we'll swing by. We'll load up what we can. Let him go down the field just a little further away. By that time, we'll jump this off. And how are we on time? What are our time looking like? We're still good. Wait a minute. Let's say 11... Oh, I'm on speed. No wonder. Let me drop that off. Where are we at? Wow, 14.52. So it's up. So we're going to go sell this then. If I can just stay in the truck. I didn't realize I was on 15 speed. I thought I was on normal real time. My apologies for that. Okay, let's go sell this. Now, it probably was like 2200 last time. No, it couldn't have been at 10 o'clock because it's still up from the last hour because it's got the up arrows. So it was a little lower than that. So 1452 is good. Let's go sell this over at Earl's place real fast. Didn't check to see if the milk truck was coming. Could have plowed right into that. Now, I've never sold at Earl's Place, so I'm not entirely sure where it is. I think, yeah, here it is, right here. Okay, we ready for this, folks? We ready for the money? The money, honey? Let's take a look. Here we go. This is it, the moment of truth, folks. Look at that money coming in. We're in the money. Yeah, we're in the money. Does the Pink Floyd song go? The money song from Pink Floyd. You got that one. You've got We're in the Money. You've got uh, what's that one from Shania Twain, Cha Ching, or whatever that one was. Lots of money songs. Okay, not bad, not bad. We're up to 26, almost 2,700 on that from starting at 17. So we made close to 10,000 uh, on, on the one load. And where is he still stopped out there? So yeah, almost, uh, almost 10,000. Not bad, not bad at all. That was actually very nice. And we got quite a bit more that we can still sell. Excuse me. Let's pull this into place. And what we'll do is we will... Let's get rid of this. I don't need this on the screen no more. If I can figure out how to... Oh, I'm speeding time up again. That's what's going on. There we go. Let's get rid of that. Now let's go fill up with barley. We'll let him continue on down the field we'll fill up with some barley here there we go now we'll go sell this over at Earl's place and we'll come back and we'll offload with him again 
Philip's gonna earn his money today. It's payday today for everyone. Uh, I think I might even go down to the saloon tonight and buy a round for everybody. Buy a round for the whole town. I think that's what we'll do. After a long day in the field, we won't even shower. We'll just go in there all grimy and dingy and dirty and buy everybody around. They won't care. Okay, let's see where we just at. So following the same logic, this should put us around 35,000, I'm assuming, correct? If our math is correct. Or maybe it was just shy of 36. That's it. We were shy of 37, so it should be just shy of 36. Uh, just over 36. Wow. We actually earned more than uh, 10,000 on that one. We earned 11,000 on that one. That was a nice payday. Okay. Canola's coming up, looking nice. Now, where is Philip in the field here? Has he made the turn yet? Nope, he's already full again. Wow, he didn't even make it up the field. He only made it like halfway, and he's full already. That's insane. Okay, looking good. We'll top up with uh, what we have in the silo still. There we go. Okay. And make the turn, make the turn, make the turn. There we go. We'll quickly go sell this. Now, with the amount of barley that we do have, I don't see any reason, knock on wood, any reason that we can't make, uh, what would you guys say, 100, 150,000? I'm, I'm a guessing. Now the question is, if we do make that much, how are we going to utilize it best? Should we pay off the loan completely? Or should we invest in equipment? I think, I think the equipment's the smart bet. The equipment and the cows is a smart bet. It's definitely what we need to do. Yeah, because we're about to hit 50,000 now. So we're doing very well. Yeah, there should be no reason why we can't make 100, 150,000 on our barley sales. Even when it drops at, at 12 o'clock, it will drop again because we're selling so much of it. He's almost complete with this field. How much do we have left in the silos? That's the question. And let's see if I can figure this out. Now I'm assuming... Oh, that says prices. Okay. So this is... We still got 36,000 uh, of barley in the silos. So, yeah. we oh, Quit hitting the wrong key, idiot. My keyboard is so small, like I said, I believe I touched on that once before in one of my, my videos. The keys are so small and so together, my fingers are so fat, and you couple that in with it being dark in my my room here, only lights are coming from the monitors, it makes it a little difficult to hit the right key sometimes. Now, looking at my video time, I see we are 35, almost 36 minutes in, so we're getting to the point where we're probably going to have to end this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell, we'll get this field, this field right here, complete it. We'll end the episode, and uh, we'll pick up on the next episodes with continuing with our field harvest. So let's go sell this. I mean, a couple more trips from, from offloading from him, that field should be finished. 
And uh, we'll be in a very good shape to end the episode, I believe. And the uh, thing is, then we need to start shopping around for the best equipment that we want to use. Like I said, we're definitely going to need some kind of feeding wagon, mixing wagon, to start finally giving our animals the mixed rations that they're craving. That will bump up the productivity over 100%. We'll finally get a little more money and, and slurry and manure that way. And we're going to need, like I said, a much bigger front end loader, a 500 liter small one. Just ain't cutting it, and we can't really use that tractor for anything other than that either because, A, it doesn't have the horsepower to lift and carry anything, and it doesn't have the carrying capacity uh, to carry anything more than 500 liters in the bucket, and you can't attach any other... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for uh, implement you can't attach any more implements to it you can but they don't function correctly because there's no articulation to the front end of it so we're definitely going to have to invest in those two straight off the top and we may have to make do with the manure wagon that we currently have um, it's really technically if you think about it it's really not that bad I mean yeah it's got a, a thin pattern on it uh, it only holds 3,500 liters so you have to fill it up quite frequently but it's sufficient it will meet our needs so that's lower on the list of equipment that we really need to get so let's go load up again yeah he's I think this is his last path he should be able to finish that up going up now um, so I think we need to offload him twice more. Okay, 7,000 liters again. We're down to 26,000. We'll figure 29,000 liters. Where did I say 26? Oh, 27,000. There we go. 26,814. So yeah, 27,000 liters of barley left in the silo still. That's not counting what's still on the three fields. I believe two fields yeah what's left on the two fields still and uh, I don't think the other fields will be completed in time before the great demand for barley ends so what we have on the fields currently that we're harvesting is probably going to be it now I just want to see great demand what else is on there it was potatoes barley and sugar beets still that so Potatoes only got four hours remaining. That will be coming off. We still have 22 hours remaining of the barley. That's actually good. We should. It will be close on the other fields as well. We might we'll be able to get them sold. But I'm interested to see what's going to what's going to take the place of potatoes. Hopefully it'll be something like canola or something, which is high high yield anyway, or high price anyway. Um, just as long as it's not like a root root crop or anything like that because we don't have any root crops planted and we don't have the tools for it yet now this might be something we want to be looking into uh, I know there is a very fairly cheap uh, small potato harvester that we can get but that's all something we're, we're looking into the future anyway so we'll focus on our, our main task that's to get this sold and get a mixing feeding wagon and a front end loader that's our two main goals to start out with and get more more moo moos I think we want to probably bump up our our bovines to I'm guessing right around 50 or so that's what I'm thinking I think 50 would be a good number to shoot for that should be good for what we have right now now they're 2,000 a pop so it will be quite expensive to get 50 uh, well we only need 40 because we are we've got 10 so but i think we'll be good i mean we're sitting right now we're sitting just shy of 70k and he's just now finishing that field up so i can't actually offload anymore from him because i'm full so let's go dump this and then we'll move him down to the other field 
How much is he got? He's almost half full already, just for that little bit that he did. I can't believe the yield that came off of that field. Okay, let's get rid of this. We don't need this. Get out of there. There we go. So, 77,000. Nice. Still got a little bit of time left in this time frame. We got about 13 minutes. No, 23 minutes, rather. Got 23 minutes left. So, we should be able to get a couple more drops on there before the price will change. So, what are you doing, Philip? There's nothing left there for you. You can quit now. Bye bye. Let's open this up. Okay. Offload this. We'll move him down to the other fields. Okay. And we got a little bit of straw to still collect, but we can do that uh, off camera. That's probably what I'll do. Um, definitely want to get this started, though. And we're about to call it call it an episode. I'm looking at the time here. We're almost to 45 minutes. So I, I don't know if I'm going to keep this the full 45 minutes. Most likely, I probably will. I know the last probably four or five have been shorter episodes anyway. So we'll probably make this a bonus, bonus extended episode. And let's just check. Make sure he's still going in the right direction. He is. Well, let's turn him back on. Oh, come on, Michael. What are you doing? Turn him on. Shut that off. Make sure he's going to go. He's not. I'm too... F you going to go? Yes, you are. Okay. So we're going to fill up this truck one more time, folks. Drop it off, and that's our episode. So let's just quickly run over here. We'll sell this. It should put us close to uh, just shy of 87K, I I'm thinking, right? Or just over 87K. Just over 87K. So we'll go sell this. It's 11.39. Got straw still to pick up. He'll be full here shortly anyway. He's already half full. And that was a big thunderclap outside. I don't know if you folks heard that or not or if you'll be able to hear it on YouTube. But that was a very big thunderclap. So we've been having thunderstorms for the last couple days. So let's move into place here. It's unusual for Germany, too. We usually don't get that many thunderstorms. Okay. And this is the final offload. We'll let that go. As we look at the bay, hay, and feet of Earl's place there, Earl Bay. And his brother Merle owns over there at the butcher. There we go, folks. 87,000, 87 and a half thousand, as a matter of fact. So there it is. Uh, mash that like up button if you liked it. Wow, that thunder's really going. Mash that like up button if you liked the episode. As always, leave your comments down below. I, I do answer all of them. I do enjoy them. It, it helps me out to become a better YouTuber, better creator. I do enjoy the interaction with all of you. Um, I, I believe it's, I, I believe that it does help, uh, all YouTube creators to get their feedback from, from their viewers. Uh, both good and bad. I, I, not one of those people that uh, will delete all the bad comments and only keep the good on there. I know some YouTubers that do do that. Some YouTube creators that they uh, get all up in arms and they post all on Twitter and and call the people out about all the negative comments and stuff. I, I don't believe in that. Uh, I I do take all the comments, both good and bad, and I do reply to all of them. Um, if I find that they're they they are uh, 
threatening in any way, then yes, I might I might would delete them. But so far, I've never had that. So I've been very fortunate with that with the viewers I have out there. I do appreciate all of you. So until next time, guys, thank you for joining the, the, the Kick to the Head family gaming here, or casual gaming as it's called. And this we are still on the old family farm. Until next time, guys, have a great night. We'll see you all later. Bye-bye.